Uh, spooky wheelchair. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Welcome to Midnight's in the Lab. I'm David, and I'm joined here by... First, the birthday boy. That's me! I'm Flab Slapper. I turned spooky 3 -0. And who else is here with us? I'm Alex, and I'm gonna pretend it's my birthday, too. I'm turning 50. I'm old now, so now my insides match my outsides. Mm. What? I was always old on the inside. Because oh, I, hey. I ate an old man. I hear they're older on the inside. Right. Is that how that works? And, and pinker. Yep. Pinkerton Road. Road. <laughs> so we're here to check out the Evil Within, Shinji Mikami's new game. From Evangelion? No. I don't. Is his last name Mikami? His last is Shinji, but his last name's not Mikami in Evangelion. It's you know, it's Ikari. <laughs> But yeah, the creative, the creative Sorry, director detectives. on Resident Evil. I know you're just Four. coming off a case, but I'm afraid we're gonna have to make a detour. Oh no, we're playing Grand Theft so Auto. Silly. I'm calling out just oh, I need to put the subtitles up, so on. Multiple homicides. Have a... Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, damn it! I can't do the it's options. Already on the, scene. Uh, that's hey, maybe it's the ghost of that doctor who went schizo. So, and which celebrity up is that? That's being that's motion captured. Since that's the Some thing to do now. Disappeared. No one. So I don't think. Kind of scandal. Just look, I don't think the facial animations indicate motion capture. Um, so this game is new. Yes. This game is just coming out now. Yes. Why did they choose to have it come out on PS2? This is Detective Castellanos in Oh, shut up. <laughs> You're right, but shut up. <laughs> As a ballsy move, that's all. Why does the main character look a lot like Sean Bean? but more generic. Well, the, you're right, actually. <laughs> no, like... I can see what you mean by the PS2, but it's... What do you the call it? The, the bump mapping or the texture on the characters is next-gen, but the polygons are last-gen. Uh, I would make that argument for the main character and the main character only. I'm sure we'll yeah. Really get there. Well, if you notice though, some of the loading it doesn't load right away. Like the, the texture on them loads like after. Yeah, there's a lot of pop in. Yeah, see, she looks like she's got uh, like 16 polygons on her face. That's because you have to make women look as bland as possible. Well, they're why. really hard. They're really hard to program too. So. Yeah. Uh, the water effects are great. The rain looks awesome. What do you make of it? That's no, she actually, she actually looks like the chick from happening. Special Victims Joseph Unit. Kidman. You're with me. We're gonna have uh, a look around. Uh, right. Law and Order. No, no, I know Law and Order. Not. Wait, I was just gonna make a Special it Victims Unit property Not the... you would be talking about, Matt. No, the older woman. Yeah. I'm actually about. Not... cut her hair short that way now, too. Yeah. Okay, I could see that a little bit. He looks like hell. He looks like he's he hasn't slept in 17 days. I like the cop. Looks like more generic. Oh, now you get to see him run. Oh, boy. Does he start wheezing immediately? No. <laughs> uh, I need a cigarette. <laughs> Ooh, I was just going to say that, too. He can only <laughs> breathe. He can only breathe when he's smoking a cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lollipop. I'm just licking it really fast. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> what is that from, anyway? I don't know, but I think that's hilarious. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> smells like blood. All right. Stay is sure. it Resident Evil? The weird thing is, is if I, like, I'll, I'll walk here after I open We're the door. But don't let the, the walk animation door. looks fine. It's just when you run, what's happening here. it's super weird. Well, everything is wobbly. But no, but just, like, look at the way he runs. Are you, are you sure the guy who made Resident Evil made this game? Yes. <laughs> I don't know. Big doors in the lobby. This sounds kind of crazy. She looks. She reminds me. Uh, the the chick reminds me a lot of Jill Valentine. Oh well, I'm, I'm sure. Alive in here. Like a lot though. Okay, there we go. Let me run again. You'll see. No. But see, are the walking looks fine. What happened here? Yeah. I mean, for a guy who wants to walk really slow. And then, just... 
Impossible. Like, he's like hopping. Oh, <laughs> wait, stop for a second. Turn around. T turn around for a sec. I've got it. I can't. You can't? Security oh, man. It's like, what, what was going on on the left hand side? It looked like someone got their head beaten in with the planet Jupiter. I'll go back and look. Isn't that the guy from Sons and Lambs? <laughs> that, yeah, that looks a lot like him. Hopkins, right? Mm hmm. I don't know, I don't see any, like... I so is this, is this America Boston. Town, USA? Yeah, I think you... It looks you know, like Boston. I played a little bit of this game uh, last night, because I was awake. It's a excited. table, not a planet. Not the planet Jupiter. It's a table. But, uh... <laughs> just, just you wait. Just you wait and see what happens. Okay. Oh, I'm just making fun of it. I, I, I... That's why we're here, right? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh! I mean, I mean, no, that's why we're here. Ah, it's just too scared. Don't push that camera! Wait, put a camera on my face and I'll make stupid faces. Uh oh, spaghettios. Ha! Oh, oh. <sighs> <laughs> I like it. Go, Ezio! Yeah, that is Ezio. No, no, that's the guy from Resident Evil 4. Ezio was in Resident Evil 4? Yeah. Stars! Get. <laughs> That's Resident Evil 3. Yeah. Same, same game. No. No. They're all the same games. Every game is the same game. Every game is Mortal Kombat, right, Alex? That's right. It's a guy who punches another guy. The rat did it! Is that rat again? <laughs> Voiced by Vincent Price. Ooh! I love that. Posthumously. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, I remember this from the video. Man, that, knife is, that knife is stuck in that jello, man. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> I kind of hope you have to grab that knife, because if not, there's no excuse for it to kind of just be floating around like that. That's no, I, yeah, you do. You're going to have to. There's no way. No, I, I, I've seen all this already. I found this whole experience with this game to be very forgettable still. So. Oh. Well. It's kind of the effect I had with uh, House of a Thousand Corpses. Mm, I never where saw that. Where there is so much blood and gore that it just becomes nothing. I can see that. Like, at one point, they go into, like, a well or something, and the entire underground is made of corpses, and I'm like, am I supposed to be scared of every corpse I see now? Well, y you know, that's funny you say that, because I, I'm starting to remember that I had the same kind of feeling towards this game. I was like, so th after a while, you're just going to get desensitized, because it's fucking everywhere. Yeah. It's, it's not like when the guy pulls his vein out of his own arm in NeverEnding Nightmare. Because you don't expect that at all. And it's fucking nasty. That sounds great. I want to see that. Oh, dude, it was fucking crazy. I dude, sent you a link to the... to the, uh, the, the, the pre-published video a while wow. ago. I'll send you another one. Plus, the other thing is... I don't care how crazy you are. Wouldn't you think that you'd still want to keep some level of sanitation? I mean, j just because you're crazy doesn't mean you're not going to get, like, ill. <laughs> That's true. Yep. <laughs> like I guess, like, yeah, just, just, just you wait. Just you wait. I mean, if this is gonna look like the, see, that's kind of cool. What? That the corpse fell out the chute? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It, it's kind of. It has to stay consistently creepy if it's going to be this gory. Well, yeah. You're basically setting the bar extremely high. So, like. Towards the end of the game, I just want to be swimming through corpses. Yeah, yeah. This, how, this sorry. opening... Sorry, no, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Th th this opening scene, this should be like a couple Shit. hours in. This yeah. should be like a climax. If you open it up like this, yeah, you need to be like neck deep in disfigured corpses that are possessed by the Grim Reaper. Or it's like... <laughs> <laughs> but maybe that's what's going to happen. Ma uh, yeah, sure, we don't know. Oh, poopy! You didn't tell me there'd be foul language. Yeah, dude. What the fuck? That's not cool. Through the doggy door! Through- Oh. 
Oh! Well, you're fucked. Oh, now how the hell is he gonna get to you? Oh! This, I believe this is where the demo ended. And that's pretty cool. Are you playing this? Uh, yeah. Oh, and hey, guess what? We're playing a video game. No. Oh, yeah. there's, there's a slide. Every video right. game has a slide. We Can you die on purpose just once, please? It's do No. Why? Because it's over. Do you not know how to let's play? So this part is like, like when there's only an hour left of Tomb Raider. Yeah. All right, I'll admit that was kind of cool. That was kind of cool. I can get behind that. Yeah, but like we said, I mean, can can this game sustain this for? I'm gonna I'm gonna guess six to eight hours. With all that blood, how can it stain it? Sus. <laughs> like I said. <laughs> just. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm vomiting. <laughs> I am full of eggplant. Not want that to happen. Did you just start vomiting? Yeah. If you thought the <laughs> if you thought the jelly beans smelled bad. Do you think this is like the medieval den? That's the joke we're getting in the in the chat. Uh, no. Fuck you. I don't. I don't get it. I don't. Yeah. Because yeah. it rhymes. Who were we saying? Uh, I think this person just popped in. Who were we saying that the the main character looked like Benjamin Button? No, uh, Sean Bean. Yeah, yeah, same thing. It's Sean not Bean. the same thing. Yeah, it's kind of the same thing. <laughs> Brad Pitt is not Sean Bean. Sean he Bean. Town. If he was, he'd die every. Well, you better hope this guy's in Sean Bean because he's definitely gonna die. <laughs> Where's the exit? No, yeah, Sean Bean's on that new TV show where he's basically uh, Liam Neeson from Taken. Sweet. My name is Gruff McGruff. The crime dog? <laughs> yes. No, that's... Oh, that is Gruff McGruff. No, <laughs> no, it's something McGruff. Yeah, it's uh, Scruff McGruff. Scruff McGruff. That's the one. <laughs> it's basically the joke you're making. It's, only it's, it's, it's not it's a, a giant detective dog. <laughs> yeah, it, no, it's a gritty reboot where he's, he becomes a human. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then this is the story. He's the only human in a world full of uh, anthropomorphic animals murdering each other. Yeah, and he has to and he has to eat them to live. Takes a bite out of crime. I would I would play that in a second. Yeah, I would. It kind of seems like um, a Wolf Among Us. <laughs> Actually. If I was better looking, I would cosplay as that guy. Oh, fuck yeah. You'd have to shave your beard. No, I could be like like... When he's like halfway between human and and like giant wolf. Now you're just being monster. lazy because you don't want to shave. Yeah, that's why I'm not gonna shave for my Casey Jones. I'm gonna go as a f overweight, <laughs> washed up Casey Jones to Magfest. Because I can't wear contacts either, so I have to wear glasses regardless. So I'm not gonna look like him anyway. <laughs> Are you gonna wear them inside or outside of the mask? Have you decided yet? Well, I'm gonna see if they'll fit inside, and if not, I'm just gonna wear the mask up most times. Unless if someone wants to take a picture, then I'll put the mask down. Yeah. Or, or you could um, spend way too much money and break your glasses, and then scotch tape the lenses over the eyes in the mask. You know what's funny? I was actually thinking about doing that because I need new glasses <laughs> anyway. <laughs> that would be fucking hilarious. Because I could easily do it because I could take the lenses out of my glasses. And I have two pair. I put the link to the uh, our audio in, in the, the chat. Oh. You guys should put it in every once in a while just to make sure it's, you know, cut. Okay. As I hide this locker. <laughs> oh, it's another... I am getting a little sick of this. I mean, this is like, this is like clock tower shit. Like we've been doing this for 15 years. What? It's Outlast. Calm down. No, I know. <laughs> the Chainsaw Ninja is getting mad. Can you? How do we calm him down? Can we tell him a story? 
Why doesn't he just cut through the blocker? Well, he doesn't know we're in there yet. But he's cutting through everything. Wow, you're pretty fucking confident that he wasn't in that room anymore. Yeah, because he sounded like he was. Seriously, I had no idea he had left the room. <laughs> Boom! Surprise, oh. bitch! I heard him. He bust, he, I heard him bust down the door. I'm fairly certain that's the same sound that the that the uh, chainsaw guy in Resident Evil 4 makes. <laughs> friend? <laughs> yeah, he just wants a friend. He wants someone he can chainsaw with. So now clearly this is this is a very large man. All right, he's had some time to to bulk up and and gain expertise with this chainsaw. What do you think his childhood was like? What do you think led him to this? He's born a sad boy. <laughs> this is what we're all gonna become. Yeah. <laughs> this is how it ends. This is our end? I don't want this to be our end. Giant half-naked maniacs wearing chainsaw, wielding how, chainsaws. How what do you... you 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 come into this world like that. Why not leave it that way? <laughs> Wielding a chainsaw. I don't covered think in we had the same birthing process. Yeah, didn't, you didn't chainsaw yourself out of your mother's womb. I did. I, I did, but I I was cognizant of it. Why do you think they call it a C-section? Oh. Yeah, chainsaw yeah, section. This game, the, the main character looks like the main character from Murdered Soul Suspect. Except this guy's not a pretentious douche. Isn't wearing a fedora. I don't know that yet. I completely forgot about that game. I want to play it at some point. That's a oh. lot of wheelchairs. How come Chainsaw Guy's so slow now? Come on now. It's a good thing somebody opened that door for you. It's probably Chainsaw Guy. He's like, I need a challenge. <laughs> yeah. This is the most fun I've had in years. Yeah, seriously, what does he do when you're not around? He chops up bodies and he's like, all right, it's like surgery to him now, and I—that's not really a pun intended. Like, no, 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 I know he's got to be really bored with his life. That's why he's chasing you, and he's like, oh my god, someone like isn't dead. I'm gonna make him my new boyfriend. Yeah, it seriously is, friend. Like, it's well, just we finally hit our we, uh, credit sequence, or opening credit sequence. He lost his fedora. That's why he's so mad. Yeah, they just talk about the chainsaw guy, right? He's gruff. That's the tragedy. That's the tragedy behind his his weary eyes. The opening sequence is pretty cool. Yeah. It like just turns itself around. It's like a music video I would like from a band I'd hate. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> That's a really good <laughs> description. <laughs> His fedora is the evil within, because it's... <laughs> ODST just said that. It's it's the, They surgically put the fedora inside him. It's what fuels him. Oh, man, the Wayne family. Party on, Wayne. Never forget. <laughs> <laughs> I just now... I, I thought that's what you meant, and then I just realized you meant Bruce Wayne. <laughs> How come the- has, oh my god, I hope someone's done that. With, like, Garth next to Batman, and he says, party on Wayne. <laughs> oh, man, I hope so. Come on, internet. If yeah. you guys thought of Bronco Obama before me... <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> or Broccoli Obama, too! Okay, just- just you wait for this now. You ready for this? No. Are you ready, ready? There's gonna be nothing. I'm ready for that. Detective! Get in, get in! Oh. Oh. Yeah, like this game oh. is oh. hospital, and now the city is falling apart. Like, this game went really big, really fast. I guess they are gonna be able to match this off if they keep getting bigger and bigger like so, this. So basically what I'm getting is that at the end of this game, the universe is going to implode. I... I you haven't seen anything yet. Just, just wait until this cutscene keeps going. No, the, the last level, you're just walking hey, through a completely white Joseph? void because yeah, nothing sorry, is. Never came out. I waited, but... but I, if you think this is crazy, wait until you see what happens after this. I don't think this is crazy. I, I think he I think he watched 
somebody let's play Alone in the Dark on the Wii, and was like, I could do that better. I'll take the gameplay away from the character, from the person playing. Yeah, we'll just get rid of the batteries. Yeah. Shit! Ah! <laughs> Ass! You get to play now? Because then this is literally Alone in the Dark. No, not yet. I guess the, I guess the one thing Alone in the Dark had going for it was letting you play. <laughs> Who's the albino? Uh, excuse me, they prefer pink-skinned and paired. <laughs> Who's Pinko? There was an Asian guy at work calling another co-worker Pinko. Oh, and I was, I was losing my shit. <laughs> <laughs> it was the funniest thing ever. Hey, hey, Pinkuru! <laughs> Sorry, I didn't see you there. Let me open my eyes wider. Do, do, do you see this now? Like... Like, what the fuck is happening to this city? They have I don't know, I would like, like... We have, like, no ex... We, we don't know what the fuck is going on. The world is... They live on a giant Rubik's Cube, and some guy is trying to solve it. That's all. <laughs> yeah. It's not scary. He just fucked up once. Damn it. Are we cut off from everyone? I mean, look, I'm, I'm intrigued. Like, cause end of the world stuff is like my fucking kryptonite. <laughs> but like, bumps, we're fine. I, uh, fine. Eh? Fine. Fine. Here's the, here's the thing. This is made by Bethesda, right? We'll no, well, I, it's produced, published. published. Yeah, published. published. So, so no. Fine. 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 Probably fine. not. Fine. Okay. No. Fine. Maybe be programmed by them fine. too, but it's made by the guy who made Resident Evil. Yeah, but but like you know. No, they said at the beginning it's something game works. I can't remember. I know Bethesda is attached to this, and I'm just wondering if they're like, well, how can we make it like Fallout? Let's end the world at the beginning. Hey, you, you just started yelling, Fall. <laughs> they're the developer. Oh, okay. oh they're, no, they are. They're, they're, they're a Japanese division of Zenimax Asia. Oh. So yeah, I guess it is technically Bethesda. Mm -hmm. There you go. They wanted to make it into Fallout real quick. <laughs> so the driver had evil within. Oh, I get it now. Yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> Thanks for the ten-minute level. Yeah. Wow. That uh and. Oh, mm. So, oh, I get it. He saw Godzilla. Mm hmm. And he was like, I can make a game with 10 minutes of gameplay, like how you see Godzilla for six minutes. I hate. I hate. I, I'm actually, I like Midnight's in the Lab a lot more when you don't have those two guys who don't like anything on. <laughs> but. Look, no, I'm actually mad now because it's like, this would be great if I was watching a movie. Like, yeah, that's cool. But when I think about how this is supposed to be a game, it makes me mad. Like, unless it's those 20 there's minutes... Way more game. To... There's way more game now. Like, after this part, there's All way right. more game. Just things really... They really, really need to win me over now. Like, I need... Because who's got the time, you know? Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll ask you a question here soon. Okay. And, and, and... You didn't tell me there was going to be questions! <laughs> <laughs> they better be good questions or else like I mean like if this was a movie I'd be losing my shit like I would think this was fucking cool but it's not it's a game well I don't understand why there's a difference there's a difference because in a game you're supposed to be playing it as an active participant. In a movie, you're you, you hate cutscenes. To be fair, Matt, you're regardless, you're not playing it. Yeah, I know. Right now. I know. Why do people watch Let's Plays? Smoker. I don't know. You do it. Not really. You've watched all of the ones we did without you. Hello? Yeah, because I know Anybody you guys. 
And I wanted to see how Alex was going to fuck with you the whole time. And I was right. <laughs> Are we awake? Is everyone else all right? The city. Whatever are you talking Bugs. about? You are the only Scarecrow's soul coming. here. Right now. Bayonetta? A hospital. Yeah, my god, this is like the Smash this Brothers of everything else. <laughs> always welcome here. I've been hospitalized. I'm afraid I cannot answer that. I bet that symbol is going to be important. Please, nah. sign in here. Without signing in, there is no way to ensure your future memories. This way, please. It smells well, like medicine. Quick, hold the button to read it very, very carefully first. This is the save, the save screen. Uh, cutting her off made it sound weird. It's like, please sign in here without signing in. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> this guy has like, his thing is his olfactory system. Every time he enters a room, he's like, smells like blood, smells like medicine, smells like cheddar cheese. Like he can pick up right on that. Maybe the evil within is his sinus cavity. Stop. Oh, oh, fuck, maybe. Sinus. Sin this is also how you us. <gasps> you see? Matt. All better. Mm hmm. Sin. Lady, us. Am I going crazy? Huh? Okay. Get it? No. Oh, I get it now. And that's Thank it. You. Like, the world is coming to an end. Holy shit. Because of allergies. Yeah. I'll be waiting. But yeah, that's how you upgrade yourself. You drive nails into your head. Huh. In this weird like hallucination room. <laughs> hey, remember how I said I had a question? Yeah. Um, do you guys like Resident Evil 4? I yeah. Because this game gets a Shit. whole lot of Resident Evil 4 right on? now. Is there a lost Flagus? You'll see. Well, it was already like Resident Evil 4 with the chainsaw guy. Oh my Did god! Kidman. Where it's forced. This is Resident Evil 4. Did the guy who made the guy who made Not this only. did he work on Resident Evil 4? Shinji Mikami. He was the creative director. He was like the 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 big like the head behind Resident Evil 4. I just couldn't remember when he left. Did he leave after five? Uh, I don't remember when he left because he also did Shadows of the Damned, <clears throat> which uh, I really liked. Oh yeah. So, is this where we find uh, the Master Sword? Yes. That would help a lot. Oh, you want to hear something freaky? So, I was driving to work this morning. There was, like, I shit you not, like, eight to ten of those huge, like, chicken hawk buzzard things just hanging out on a guardrail. Boy. And I'm like, oh, ha, I get it. Today's my birthday. I see where this is going. <laughs> It was Good just one, fucking. Guys. Yeah, it was just fucking weird. <laughs> so is this basically how your birthday has gone so far? <laughs> yeah, just just horror. Yeah, driving nails into your skull, <laughs> swimming through corpses, and not enjoying anything. Connolly. I hope that guy's just making Kool-Aid. Is that the sound? Is it? Wouldn't it be like making macaroni and cheese? How do you make Kool-Aid? I don't know. I never made Kool-Aid. First, ma first you make mac and cheese. Oh. Then you mix in the powder for the Kool-Aid into the mac and cheese. I like... See, now that shot... <laughs> that's a Bethesda. Well, that's one of those things that confuses me. The head falls off, but the stinger is when it rolls over to realize some of it's missing. When well, yeah, the head falls off, you realize he's dead, and that guy has killed, killed and eaten him. But it's not oh until God. you see half his face missing that it's scary. Well, when you still have most of your face, you can still be alive. That's true. You're like, oh, hey, Eddie, what's up? I don't know the names of the main character. Hey, Eddie, how's it going? Either. Hmm? I don't know either. 
Oh, I thought you said patent leather, and I'm like, that's a weird name for a guy. <laughs> <laughs> that was... He left before. He left after God Hand before. Hurts. Hurts. Resident Whoa. Evil Five. Jeez. Dude, you get the Green Lantern ring in this? Were you warning me about that's this? That's the upgrade juice. You and Leslie, right? I didn't know God Hand was. I'm a police officer. Was maybe yeah, I should crazy. Help you. Should help. God Hand is so Shit. great. It God felt Hand's pretty great. How am I it just it felt hospital. older. Hospital. 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 Jesus. What the fuck? No, you're not. Oh, he found it. Okay. <laughs> it was just around the corner. <laughs> it's right there. There is a lot of Bethesda that's creeping into this. Like, uh, like disarming traps and and the graphics, the shiny gore. Wasn't Resident Evil like that too? There was no shiny gore in Resident Evil. Yeah, I'm getting I'm I'm getting a lot of fallout out of this. It's yeah. Weird. There's no matches in it though. Burn the corpse. Why'd we do that? Because the, they'll come back. Uh. Well, that's cool. I like that idea. So Resident Evil uh, remake for GameCube. Cool. Do you have to burn them in order to make sure they don't come back? Yeah. Oh. Really? Yes. In the remake for that. the GameCube, you have to burn them or they come back as Crimson Heads. But, no. But what if we ask you a third time? Will that change what happened? It might. Why don't you give it a, shot, a try? Matt, really? Is it? Really what? Really? Do you burn them? No. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, he did Vanquish. Vanquish was great. Something you vanquish it. Does it happen in that too? What the? That I don't hear again. Hey, I remember this music. I must be losing it. I wanted I to like Killer Seven a lot, and I do, but I never I like play Killer it. Seven a lot. I can't play I it. It's like barely a, a game. Dream, or this You're is. barely a game. Oh no, it's PT. What is the matter? Shut up, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, that demo had more gameplay. We're at the game part now. What more do you want? What well, if the game? <laughs> Come on, man. Are you serious? <laughs> Upgrade. Ooh, you got to walk. You got to shoot something, and then you got to burn something, and now you're doing the upgrade. If this is the. If this says right after this, if this says the end of chapter two. I'm gonna shit. No, no, no. <laughs> How much of this did you play? A little bit more. Why? I finished right. chapter two. That's why I stopped at chapter three. Okay. What did you just upgrade? I didn't even see what was going on. I can carry more matches now. Oh, how many matches can one man carry? Not that many. I can only hold about two. That's that's pretty <laughs> fucking crazy. Yeah, I mean, Don't I have this in matches, Matt. Yeah, because I mean, you're not supposed. To, I mean, nobody has pockets. Do you have <laughs> pockets on your clothes? I don't. So I'm hoping that the upgrade went from like two matches to fucking one billion matches. <laughs> or no, I think maybe it's five or something. I don't know. Because you know you you can't also like line them in the inside of your pants. I like want the next don't. upgrade to be able to ball it up like a dung beetle and carry it on your back. This huge ball of matches. I gotta use the bathroom. Let me in. I heard a great joke, considering that this is a segue into a knock-knock joke. So, why aren't there any knock-knock jokes about America? Why? Because freedom rings. <laughs> yeah. I have a question. Yes. Yeah. That guy had nails in his head, yet you stabbed him in the head and that killed him. <laughs> he had a couple nails. Mm -hmm. I put a giant bl knife blade in the back of his head into his brain and swirled it around. So... Gotcha. He already had two nails in the back of his head. How many matches do you think he could carry? Mm. Twelve. 
Well, he could probably take the nails out and stick them in the holes in his head. Oh, well, no, because if you remove the nails, that would take away the upgrade. Oh, shit. Wait, is that the... So is that guy upgraded? I guess. <laughs> that's the joke I'm trying to get at. If I no. actually answer it, it's not funny anymore. But I wonder if you're right and this guy's walking around and he looks like a fucking freak like everybody else, so you just, you're just seeing him as regular. Actually, you know what would be kind of cool is if, by upgrading yourself, you slowly became one of these you things. Here? Yeah, that's the end. That would be really cool of this game to do it. But it won't. You do that in the new Borderlands, actually. There's a character, because it's a prequel, there's a character who has been turned into a robot, and all of your, like, skill trees slowly turn you into the robot. Hmm. Pretty cool. That was the conceit behind... Some... It, it was it was it was a few years ago now, but it was some uh, sequel to a classic PC RPG franchise that was it, like a sci-fi hack and slash RPG. That that was the conceit. Like, did you become more man or machine? And like, Deus Ex? No, it was. Uh, oh, I can't remember. Yeah, because it, it sounds like Deus Ex. It was one of those. Well, that was pretty Diablo cool. Type franchises. That was pretty cool. I enjoyed that a lot. That was nice. I just wish that the guys weren't made of liquid latex. Yeah, it's... They're shiny. It's like he's made of liquid latex and some fell in a bucket of primer. It's just weird. That's cool, though. I like the barbed wire thing. Oh, it's Wilhelm. Yeah, Wilhelm. Yes? What? No, the name of the game. Sorry, the name of the game that uh, David was trying to think of. Oh, Wait. That's not a game. Why did he write Wilhelm? Oh, I That's know. the name of the Borderlands character. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, I'm my, sorry. My mind almost just got blown. I'm like, wait a minute. Is that, is that a game with the same concept of the character? Because that's genius. <laughs> oh. Well, spooky. He's dead. That's good. It's a good thing you can punch a guy in the face who has barbed wire for a face. For a face. He was. I really fucked up trying to floss this morning. Yeah. Well, <laughs> oh, five matches. You're at your cap. But, well, now he's got four, so he can get another one. Sweet. I mean, it is. If that is ends up being the case that you're just as a, much of a freak as the rest of these guys, that's kind of funny. But I don't know. I don't I'd think give, it's gonna happen. I'd give it some credit if it was that. Yeah. I mean, if you're forced to upgrade yourself in order to survive this, and by surviving, you just become one of the freaks. So you're technically surviving it, but to what end? Yeah. You know, I just hope we didn't write a better story just now. Oops. Sorry. Sorry about the stuff. Just make Fox go in. That'll solve all your problems. Um. So I saw. You're next. Isn't that like your favorite? Oh, movie? I saw that. I saw that. I just saw that the other day too. Oh. What did you think? Ah, uh, it was it was it was interesting. Oh. It was, I, I I enjoyed watching it, but it's not like it. I I don't I don't know if I'll ever watch it again. Like. Yeah, exactly. That blood splatter that was on the wall back that there. Awful. That was Fallout Three. That is completely Fallout 3. Only with a lower texture. It's gotta be the same engine. That that's has to be what this is. Oh, it's absolutely the same engine. There's no doubt about that. But Jesus. But it's just weird. Like, no, I know graphics don't make the game. I absolutely know that. But some of these are really distracting. It's just... When you're playing... When you're playing a gore fest, mm -hmm. and I don't have a problem... Like, that's not the problem, is that you have to make the gore look believable or it just becomes distracting. Like, nobody found Fallout 3 scary. They found it hysterical. Yeah. Except, um, they did find it terrifying when you would blow up a character and then save it, and then reload the save, and then the person would be, like, intact like an NPC, but it would be all of their bloody body parts all put back to where they should have been. Yes, but I, I thought you were going to say it's only it was scary when you would find like the Cthulhu s sections. Nah. Those were it was 
It was tense. I wouldn't say it was scary. Yeah. <laughs> to which I, I would say that this game does build tension. I'll give them that. Like, it has the same level of tension. Well, I, the only thing that's doing for me is that I'm just... I'm intrigued. Like, what is happening if they even explain it at all? Yeah. I am I mean, we're giving them credit to say that they probably, maybe, wrote a really good story. And that, you know, that's good enough. If you're going to experience something, so what if the graphics are weird at times, and so what if they're kind of desensitizing you from the core? If it's Have a fun I story. Have you played Deadly Premonition yet? Yes. Okay, that's that's exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, exactly. That game is like hot asshole, but goddamn, is it amazing? Hmm. But on a different level, that's like, oh my god, you got to see this movie. It's so terrible. It's the best movie you'll ever see in your life. Yeah. Okay, I thought for a second you were going to tell me that Deadly Premonition was like a great game with a great story. <laughs> it's really fucking interesting. I really like it. It's really weird. But it's... it's. Did you just take his brain and put it in a jar? What just happened there? That, yeah, that's what I did. Was that brain jar? He, he... that was upgrade fluid. Oh, okay. He spawned upgrade fluid. Ah! <laughs> Does it have a better name than Upgrade Fluid? In the I game? don't know. I don't know what it's called. Okay, okay, I, I love that. <laughs> Do you have a better name for it than Upgrade Fluid? It's a no, fluid that's the that best name in the world. Ah, fuck! That's a pretty great scream. Yeah. That was a fantastic scream. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I, I want to hear that right before I go to bed every night. Mm -hmm. Oh! You didn't see the thing! I could have showed you the thing! Why? <laughs> wow, you got fucking wrecked. Yeah, that's that's why I screamed. I blew the fuck up. Not scared of a guy who's got barbed wire all over him, but a string. Watch your back. <laughs> a string that'll blow you the fuck up. Watch your back. Seriously. I like the burning body mechanic. I just wish... I think it, I think it adds unnecessary uh, length and <laughs> although you, it's not like you've had to like search for fucking yeah it's not like you had to like search for fucking matches yet although we'll see what happens yeah I kind of I kind of wish that it had more of a purpose wait that's also how you get I mean sometimes it'll get enemies to spawn extra like drops too oh okay so that's yeah that's cool I like that I like mm. that a lot. But but see what I mean? How this game all of a sudden turn just turns into Resident Evil 4 100% by you're in a weird like Eastern European looking village. Yeah, but I played Resident Evil 4. So five times. <laughs> okay. He's saying he doesn't have to play it again. Yeah. Oh, I'm just like this game's really like it starts in a hospital, which is where I th I also thought the whole game took place. Yeah. Um. Then the city is like going to shit, and then all of a sudden you're just in Resident Evil 4. Like, I don't understand what's happening yet. We were talking about this last time. I like stealth mechanics. Matt said he did not. Um, I do like the aspect of that too. I like the idea of having to like sneak up, take take them out without them fucking wrecking you, and then burn them. It's just not my style. Yeah. I mean, I, I do I get it. it. I do it when I have to, and of course it's a, and, and it's a better, obviously it's always the better choice to take out someone stealthily, but it's just, it gets, I forget what game I was playing where I basically just went around and choked everybody, like, last, oh. oh, yeah, The Last of Us. I was pissed off because I like stealth, so I always put stealth in where stealth is the option, and they're really heavy on the stealth aspects of Last of Us. They yeah. talk yeah, about like great. how to preserve shanks and and how to not be heard and how to hide and all this. And then I kept losing at this one part. My buddy just goes in guns blazing, and I'm like, "Well, fuck." Well, yeah, What's that's basically what happened. That game probably would have bored me a lot more if I was better at the stealth, but I wasn't. So I had to, I was basically fighting for my life all the fucking time. Mm Maybe they are made out of kerosene, and that's why they're so shiny. <laughs> oh. Perhaps. I like the MRI, uh, the MRI thing. 
There's mm. the pause menu. That's cool. Too. Eh. So where where do you think you are right now? Because I feel like we're somewhere in Utah. No. Why Utah? Because that I feel like that's an area where there are still parts of the world that. You know, uh, let's still what have let's religion. let's leave these open fields. Nah, uh, of of this of like the movies I've seen, this looks more like Euro European. Oh well, yeah, no, that's fair. I immediately went America. If I have, yeah. no, I know. I mean, I could be wrong. Never been to Utah. Hey, now you're disabling the Utah. bear traps, like in Fallout Three. Oh, oh, he saw you. David, he saw. He's mad. I'm Resident Evil 4 too. Can you set the bear traps again? No, but I, ha I have trap parts. I don't know if I can set traps later or what. I would assume so because I have parts. That's pretty cool. With the death throws. Like just him running around on fire and the the fire actually spreading. That was cool. I like how so far each enemy that you faced is completely different looking. Yeah. Like. That's cool. See, we can like stuff and still make fun of it. So don't think just because we're ragging on a game. <laughs> That's just what we do. I don't like this game yet, but I just... I, I can... I always point out things that I like. Oh, yeah. If I oh. do. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like, completely shit on something and, like, deny anything that I think is cool. That'd be stupid. I'm not a fucking troll. Oh, exactly. Yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. No, I, I know. It's like I like Neverending Nightmare a hell of a lot, but there's the big goofy baby monster, and it looks fucking stupid. <laughs> I think it looks weird. I didn't hate it as much as you did. But it's it. As did, far as I can you, tell. Did you see that though? Like when I shot him, his head deformed, split apart, oh, and shit. like, the, and the rebar was like holding it together. No, what did you do? I, I, why? I what think... Why you owe shit? What did you shit? Or was that the character? No, that was me. No. Oh. He, he's, he's still. still... Have why then? He's still lagging. These guys woke up. Oh. He still lags. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. that's why. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't Fuck. notice that either. Fuck. Uh, oh no. Uh. 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 That was. Oh. Uh, what are what you? Up? Oh, gee, oh, you're doing awful. Oh, there's the that was he was talking about. Oh, he <laughs> he stabbed you with his rebarb. Oh. That was that was certainly a death. Yeah, that was quite a death. I'll give it that. That had some chunk behind it. Yeah, I, I, this game definitely has some of the best enemy design I've seen. I just wish it wasn't so shiny. <laughs> so oh God. Have... Oh, God. How far back did you go? So let me ask you this. All the way. Uh... Let me ask you this. Yes. You're doing the... Because I feel like this is a Last of Us situation again. You have a torch. You've noticed that two enemies have seen you. You hit them with the torch and killed them instantly. Yes. Do you have to be stealthing at all, or can you just run in there and no, hit every single enemy with the torch and right hit now? Them with the torch, yeah. Okay. So, what's the point of all this? Uh, I the torch is only a one-hit thing. And then it goes away. Yeah. Okay. All, all right. right. See, that makes more sense. I wish the torch is more durable. Well, no, I, I'm glad it's not, because then it would be completely pointless to have any other aspect of the game. Shh. No, no, I'm talking. <laughs> it's going to be a really boring Let's Play if there's no talking. Unless you just want gameplay footage, in which case, what the fuck are you doing here? I, I would think, what the fuck are you doing here? Me? Yeah, if I just want gameplay footage, then why are you guys here? That's a good question. It's true. What the fuck is anyone on the internet doing? Ah, God damn it! Must have woke up again. Hit <laughs> the same fucking trap. Aw oh, man, you... 
I forgot it was there. It was right around the corner. How? There was such an emphasis on it. <laughs> you dumbass. Stupid son of a bitch. Are you playing it? You're playing it on your PS4 right now, right? Yeah. Yeah, that explains it. Is this game 60 bucks? Uh, yeah, I think so. Why? Is it only on the PS4? No, it's on, like, a bunch of stuff. Well, I mean, specifically, is it on the PS3 or the PC? Well, it's, it's on... It's definitely on the PC. Alright. And we've already established it's on the PS2. <laughs> oh, oh, right, right. <laughs> oh, well, hell, it probably looks a lot better on the PC. <laughs> Maybe. At least it it looks like a game now. That opening cutscene in the car, there was no excuse for that. <laughs> that looked fucking terrible. You think a company just like hears about bump mapping and is just like, well, if they have it, let's just turn it all the way up, and that's why everything's so shiny. <laughs> I don't know. Is that what buff mapping is? Bump, bump Shine? Mapping? Um... S no, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it, it's what adds... Like, a texture through shadow and light. Mm. So, like... When something looks raised... It's almost like a, a bevel or an emboss or something, if that means anything to you. Not so much an emboss, but... Do you know what no, but I, I get what you mean, though. That guy was right by fire. You should've just rolled him into it. <laughs> That would have actually been a really cool mechanic if you could get just like pick up the bodies and oh, cool. light the hay on fire, light everything on fire. You don't want to light everything on fire. Burn the planet! Can you though? Yeah. Oh. That was an option. Whoa! There's so many comments, and I I'm trying to play pay attention to this game. M m mega textures. <laughs> yeah, I, I've been I've been reading them. Oh, good. So if you want to respond, that's... I still want to know how you killed that guy when he has a huge spike through his head already. He just made him pass out. Math. That's why you have to light him up. Is this like Hellraiser, I wonder? Oh. Math. Oh, well math is hell for me. Ma well, it's as boring as Hellraiser. Mm, yeah. That first movie sucks. The I second never... movie is the exact same as the first movie, only with a woman instead of a man. Well, I'm glad I didn't see it. I guess they don't start getting really weirdo until, like, the third and the fourth one. Uh... I didn't see any. I only saw the first one. And I was like, I'm not going to watch the rest of these. Yeah. There's some really good practical effects in it, though. That's the reason to watch the movie if you're well, into practical effects. Yeah, I am. Not enough to watch the movie, but he is. <laughs> Well, once you see the first one one time, you're good. Unless you're, like, doing a fucking class on special effects. Oh, I never finished talking about, uh, you're next, so... Oh, yes, yeah, sir. The mo No, whatever. The mo uh... I, I, I hope the movie was written to be funny. Because the dialogue in the movie is... Not is, great. It's not great, but it feels like it's... The characters are written intentionally funny. Oh, really? To me, at least. I mean, the way they talk. I mean, like, towards. I don't want to give anything away, because, you know, it's not that old. But, like, you know, towards the end, when you find out who was the bad guy the whole time, and he's talking to someone, and, and the, the, his his dialogue is like, well, you know, you weren't really supposed to be here, and it's going to be fine. Don't worry about it. You know, oh, that kinda, yeah. like that kind of shit. It's just, it's just written very funny to me. And I was under the impression that the whole... Because the way Mitch described it, I thought the whole, like, half of the Why movie was going to be fucking... Mitch? He's he's right sometimes. I thought half the movie was going to be fucking Home Alone antics, but it's only really the end. And I called and I called one of the end parts. That was a little disappointing. But the kills are cool. Like, when well, stuff actually happens, it's... The conceit of the movie is it's basically like a... Uh standard horror like slasher movie except it's one of the characters grew up on a survivalist colony and fights back yeah and i liked it but i i just didn't think i expected more that's all but i didn't think it was a bad movie Mitch. i guess i just heard it was interesting and there's a plot twist midway through that 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 that's like really interesting 
but it's it's an okay movie. That's what I heard. It was an okay movie with some interesting stuff going on. The thing is, I called it from the very beginning, and yeah, but, I, too, but I, I only said it as a joke. I was I, yeah, I was wondering it too, and then it happened. But it was still interesting. Like it was still well done. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. Although what was funny about the movie is that you know the lead, the lead chick, she has an accent, and I said. I said to my friend, do you think she's Australian? And he says, no. Oh, she totally like, was. Well, I saw, I... As soon as I heard that, I was like, that's an Australian accent. Well, hold on. I didn't even finish. <laughs> it's, a, it's a story. <laughs> and, so I, and, I, and I was like, well, then I guess she has to be New Zealand then if she's not Australian. And he's like, I don't know. And then she says stuff that sounds very Canadian. And then my friend goes, maybe she's Canadian. I was like, I don't know. She's all three. <laughs> She was born in Australia, mother from New Zealand, father from Canada, or something like that. <laughs> That's fucking weird. Yeah. Matches. Oh, man. Before you went through the window, it looked like it led to a different world, and I was going to say, okay, this is pretty cool now, but no. <laughs> I mean, it's easy for me to complain about a game. I wish I could make a game. Do you even make games? Do you yes, eat okay. shit? Can I make... Okay. So, that just reminds me of that thing Sakurai said. Do you even eat shit? You, ah. Yeah, remember when they, uh, they were like, Oh, how's the new Super Smash Bros. coming? He's like, do you even eat shit? <laughs> <laughs> you remember that? That guy is a card. I love him, though. <laughs> but yeah, I, I know. Someone at E3, they were giving Sakurai shit. And, like, one of his internet quotes is, have you ever made a game before? Yeah. Because he asked someone if they ever made a game before. The guy asked him, hey, if I beat you in a round of Super Smash Brothers, oh, yeah. can I develop the game? Can I help develop the game? And he, to which he says, have you ever even made a game before? Fuck you, that is a completely legitimate thing to say. <laughs> yeah, it is. Why that isn't is it? Exactly. So what, don't give people him saying it. I'm not giving him shit. No, no, no. That's what I'm. I'm, I'm yelling at the internet. Who's not? Oh. Because it's like, they're just saying that he's an arrogant guy because of it. Fuck you. Have you ever? He's been making games for decades, literal decades. He's invented characters that you hold dear. O o I don't think uh, Odst with the with the with the facts. So, the guy who made your next immediately made a straight-up comedy afterwards. Oh, shit. So that makes sense that some of it was funny. And they're working on a sequel, I think. Oh, I'd watch a sequel, because usually sequels are amped up to, like, like, stroke. Wow, I like how there's blood all over your back. That's, that cool. that's cool. And then it fades away. Oh, it's gone. Yeah. That I don't like. Yeah, that's too bad. I'm just saying, like, if I were to make a game... They would have, uh, blackjack and hookers? Yeah, yeah. just tits. That's it. <laughs> you would play as one tit trying to find another tit. <laughs> and when, and when you it's get... Really, really, it's the greatest love story ever told. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the end sequence. They meet each other, and then they go to they stand next to each other, and then it zooms in until the two tits are on the screen, and it just says at the bottom... Tits. And, OD out. and ODSD is correct that this game would be because a lot better if the blood actually st Good God. stayed on you for longer than <laughs> half a second. Yeah. It would be see that's the kind of game I would make. I would make a game like I would definitely make a game like this. Like well, it's not that over the top at, at the moment, mm -hmm. but like I wouldn't make it. I would make a twenty-hour long game. Obviously, I would make a tight like five to six hour long game. Not for sixty bucks if I can hand, you know, if I don't have to. Wow, that's a lot of dudes. Yeah, that just came out of nowhere. Holy the guy, fuck! The, and the one guy like pulled himself off with a rebar, which is cool. But oh, Jesus Christ, that's intense. Go ahead, Go ahead. Like no, but I'm saying like I would make like I would, I would definitely make a game like this, but I would make it weirder and and definitely and even more gory. Like you get covered in blood and it stays on you. I understand it's a programming limitation because it's, it's this area heavily textured and and I haven't really noticed bad loading screens at all. Like I barely, I don't think I even noticed the loading screen. I'm There's sure they been happen. Screens. What? There's been loading screens. Yeah, but I'm saying we haven't really noticed them. Yeah, right. they haven't been intrusive. They haven't been like, oh, let's get through this. Like, and I can understand like every time 
blood would cover you and it would stay. It would have to remember very specific things. But that would be a focus. Because, like, in, in Mortal Kombat, the, they, they spent so much time making sure the blood stayed where it was and rotted in real time. But they also took an entire access out of their game. <laughs> so it was two-dimensional, so they saved a whole bunch of memory. Sure. But it's, it's really important. It's setting an ambiance. It really is. And having blood just fade away in a game that's about blood, gore, and horror. Did I ever tell you about Bloodbath Baseball? No. But we've been, we've been playing for about an hour. Do you guys want to stop here and then come back maybe with a second part of this? I'm yeah, actually, to... I do want to see the rest of this game, at least for yeah. another hour. Okay. It's effectively doing its job, then. Yeah, for so, sure. Yeah. So yeah, so we will be back with a. Uh, we'll post the new Google Hangout chat link in uh in the Twitch chat, and we'll be right back. Sweet. <laughs>